This is another uh, example of some research we did using these collections. That is that one of the things you can do with the detailed data that these collectors t took is actually estimate when the first egg in a clutch was laid. And that can be used comparatively over time. In this particular case, we had data, these are from 1914, we had data for, this is, uh, uh, these are killdeer eggs. And we had data from 1880 to 1930 in the five county area around Chicago, and we wanted to compare it to modern data. And I had a couple of colleagues that had done detailed studies of cowbird parasitism at the Morton Arboretum, such that they had first egg laying dates for a bunch of birds. And uh, the other colleague was doing uh, uh, right-of-way studies along railroad tracks looking at habitat. And again, because they found nests and they measured how far along they were, they could get this estimate of first egg-laying date. And killdeer is an interesting one because you'll see this is May 18, uh, 1914. And today, killdeers are actually laying on average a month earlier than they were back in this period of time. For killdeer, this is almost certainly an adaptation to changing climates, um, but it's not that simple for all birds. We had 72 birds in the study, and a lot of the patterns weren't clear, and that may mean the birds aren't adapting. It may mean that our data set wasn't as good as it needed to be, but, you know, it may be that the birds have different ways of coping with climate change, which is something else I think we need to take into consideration.